it's going to be a very exciting event. We've got four great teams coming into play, teams that haven't played each other very often. Competition will be good, but it's also for a great cause. We're going to try and raise some money for families that are fighting fight against cancer. All the money that's raised this weekend will stay here in Birmingham and help families that are dealing with cancer and the costs associated with it. So it's going to be a great athletic event, but even more important, it's going to be a great event to help the community. We've got obviously UAB will be here. We play University of California at Irvine uh, on Friday night. Uh, the game uh, on Sunday will be us versus Western Illinois University and Memphis will be the fourth team, but we won't compete against them this weekend. Well, uh, one of the parents of a former player of ours is a cancer survivor, and he uh, asked me to be on the board of directors with him for Soccer for Cure. It's a new organization trying to raise money to help families that are battling cancer. There's always the medical cost, but there's other costs involved as well. Families are having to take time away from work. They're having to travel to get treatment. Uh, there's so many other expenses that come in, not just medical. And so having been a cancer survivor, he wanted to find a way to help other people deal with those costs. And so trying to get the soccer community all over the nation involved uh, in really a grassroots way was his brainchild and we're just trying to help him push it along. This is the first annual Soccer for a Cure Classic, but we certainly expect it will continue year after year and we're hoping that the concept will spread throughout the nation so that uh, you'll see these classics show up all over the United States. Um, well, yes, we know a little bit about them. We played UC Irvine about five years ago out at their tournament. Uh, and so this is, I guess, the rematch from a while ago. We tied them 1-1 back in 2002. Uh, we've never played Western Illinois, uh, and so we've learned a little bit about them, but I wouldn't say we know them real well. And that's one of the fun things of a classic like this is it's an opportunity to bring in teams that you don't see every year, uh, especially teams out of our region. And so it's an opportunity to play some new people, new teams, new ways of playing. Should be interesting competition. You know, this is it's it's a special weekend because we get to do both things. We get to compete in games that count and mean something, uh, and at the same point try and help other people in our community give a little bit back. But it is a you know a competition for real, and these games count. They count in our record. They count in our opportunity uh, to be selected into the NCAA tournament at the end of the year. And so all teams will be battling very hard. It's a number of good questions. You know, we have, we have hosted an A Classic or a tournament each year for the past 10 years or so. And so the idea of having a tournament like this is not new. Uh, what is new is bringing in Soccer for a Cure and being able to help raise money for uh, a worthy organization. So that's the, the new part to it. Uh, in terms of UC Irvine and Western Illinois, we always try to bring teams to Birmingham that we haven't seen before. Uh, teams that maybe our fans haven't had an opportunity to, to know much about, and this is a way to, to see. We also like to play teams from out of the region. You know, we, we play a lot of teams in our conference and in our region year after year, but it is fun for the kids as well to play someone that they haven't played against. This is the format. The games are set. We know who will play on Friday. We know who will play on Sunday. Uh, it's not a you know, win on Friday and you're in a final on the Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and again, with a team like Memphis, because we already play them in the regular season in a conference game, we wouldn't want to match up with them a second time. Uh, first team I ever coached here at UAB back in 1992, we had a young man from Atlanta, Georgia named Chip Corbett. His father, Charlie Corbett, is the uh, man who uh, is a cancer survivor and who has started this organization, Soccer for a Cure. What's the, uh, the, the response been from around the community and from your fellow coaches? Yeah, it's been really nice. I think all the teams that are coming are excited to be able to participate in something like this. But we've had a lot of interest from other colleges calling us and asking us what we're doing and how we're doing it and how can they get involved in the future. And so it has been a really positive response, something that I think will grow very quickly over the next few years. So it's starting here. It's being birthed over on West this Campus This is the first field. one, yeah. So 10 years from now, when it's something that... 75% of the colleges in the country do, that's, that'll be a real source of pride for your, your bunch. I, I think it's already a source of pride that we get to be the first host for the Soccer for a Cure Classic, but certainly if we can get 75% of the college teams involved in this organization, that would be outstanding. Uh, I think if we can just get a few more, 
will will raise that much more money and help that many more families. So whether it's 75 percent or 15 percent, uh, I'm going to be very pleased that we're able to help you. Yes, soccerforcure.org is the place to go and learn as much as you'd like about the organization and, and about this event. And so yeah, we hope people will go log on and uh, and learn a little bit more about.